Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. A statistician keeps a simple wardrobe. He only purchases pairs of black socks and white socks, and he keeps all of the socks in a pile in the drawer. Recently, one of the socks was lost in the laundry. The socks now have a mathematical property. If you select two socks at random from the drawer, the socks will match in color exactly 50% of the time. The statistician owns more than 200 socks, but less than 250 socks, and there are more black socks than white socks. How many socks of each color are there? And which color sock was lost in the laundry? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. We can solve this problem by drawing a tree of the possible ways to draw socks. On the first draw, you could draw a black sock, or you could draw a white sock. Suppose there are B black socks and W white socks. Suppose you drew a black sock. On the next draw, you could draw another black sock. Since you've already pulled out one black sock from the drawer, there is one fewer black sock remaining, so there are B minus one black socks that this could have been from. If we multiply these two numbers, B times B minus one, we get the total number of ways that we could have drawn two black socks in a row. On the second draw, we could have also drawn a white sock. There would have been W white socks remaining in the drawer, and if we multiply B times W, we get the number of ways that we could pick a black sock on the first draw and a white sock on the second draw. Now let's consider the, the branch if we drew a white sock. We could then draw a black sock. There are B black socks remaining. If we multiply W and B, we get BW, which is the number of ways that we could get a white sock and then a black sock. We could also have picked out a white sock on the second draw. Since we've already picked one white sock, there are W minus one white socks remaining. If we multiply these two numbers, we get W times W minus one is the number of ways to pick two white socks in a row. So how does this help us solve the problem? We know that if we pick two socks, we are told the probability that these two socks will match is equal to 50%. Since socks can either be matching or not matching, that means the probability of picking two socks which are not matching in color is also equal to 50%. Therefore, the probability of picking a matching pair is equal to the probability of picking a not matching pair. In other words, the number of ways to pick two socks which match in color equals the number of ways to pick two socks which do not match in color. We figured out the number of ways from the tree of possibilities that we've just drawn out. So how many ways are there to pick two socks which match? When we pick two black socks, there's B times B minus one ways. And when we pick two white socks, it's W times W minus one ways. So the total number of ways to pick two socks which match is the sum of these two quantities. The remaining possibilities are for when we pick two socks which do not match in color. This will be equal to two BW. We can now simplify this equation, and we end up with b minus w, the quantity, squared, is equal to b plus w. Now we need to deduce some things from what we know about the total number of socks. This equation tells us that the total number of socks, b plus w, is a perfect square. We know this because b plus w is equal to the quantity b minus w squared. Furthermore, we are told in the problem that the total number of socks is between 200 and 250. We can then consider which perfect squares are between 200 and 250, and the only possibility is 15 squared equals 225. So we figured out the total number of socks is equal to 225. We also know the quantity b minus w squared is equal to 15 squared. 
This implies that either b minus w is equal to 15 or w minus b is equal to 15. But we can conclude b minus w is equal to 15 because we were given that there are more black socks than there were white socks. So we have a system of equations which we can then solve for the two variables b and w. If we add up these two equations and divide by 2, we get that b is equal to 120. We then know there are 15 more black socks than white socks, and therefore the number of white socks is equal to 105. So we figured out the number of socks of each color, and we can now figure out which sock was lost in the laundry. Since the statistician only buys socks in pairs, it must be the case that pairs of socks would be a total number that's an even number. But the number of white socks is odd. Therefore, we know that the missing sock must have been the white sock. Did you figure out this problem? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.